Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to set up external clients app with auth client credential flow. So I hope you are good and doing well. So before starting this video, I request to you to all, please support me guys and please like, share, comments, subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. Okay. So before starting this video, let me explain to you what is external clients app. This is our topic and uh, about this external client app with the auth credential. So with the summer 24 release, Salesforce introduced external client apps and a new generation of the connected app designed to the addressing previous limitations and bolster security external client app represent the future of the connected app. So please note this point. This is the very most important. External client app is the represent the future of the connected app. So maybe in future Salesforce will remove this connected app and we will use this external client app in future. Okay. So this is the one point. There are so many framework external client app that is support and the auth flow included. Let's say client credential flow. Okay. And uh, you know authorization code and credential flow device flow jwt barrier to token flow token exchange flow so this kind of you know framework can be supported by the external client apps so here you can see the flows right i will tell you what is the benefit of this external client app instead of connected apps right so external app send it's a unique client credential that is consumer key and consumer secret to the Salesforce auth token endpoint. Salesforce verify this credential against the external client app setting. If valid Salesforce return an access token on behalf of integration user assigned in the external client app setting. External app uses this token access token to call Salesforce APIs. Salesforce execute the API call and return the response. So this is beneficial for us so now let me tell you the another things how we can implement it so we can use different types of mechanism here but i will tell you only the auth client credential flow that is this one okay so now in this video you will be see uh, like a practical guides how to configure it right so before that i request you again please Subscribe the channel, turn on the bell icon for more updates, right? And don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn this uh, video about this new external client app, right? So let's get started and this time our demo. Okay, so let's begin. So now let me log in into my org. Yeah, so I just logged in into my org. Here you can see under the quick find you have to search uh, one thing that is permission set. First of all, we have to create the permission set if you are in setup so you can easily find out the permission set so let me create the permission set let permission set click on this permission set and once you clicked on this permission set you can create new one or if you have existing one well and good otherwise you can create first one okay so let me create new one and once you clicked on new okay so under the permission set we can see here okay this one let's say Rohit something like that Rohit permission set for example purpose click on the save once you saved it now you can assign that user so like manage assignment under this manage assignment you have to search the add assignment or you can search your username so my username is Rohit Kumar I just search it here next and assign this one click on that okay go back to the permission set so we already created rohit one right so here we will see here once you clicked r now rohit permission set so this is our permission set right so once you cl clicked on this permission set now you have to enable the and uh, external client app so under the quick find you have to search external right external now immediately you can see this option under the app that is external client app this is the you know uh, our option we have to enable it so just click on this setting 
and here you can see the this option you have to enable it before using this client app that is opt in external client app right so just let me enable this feature once you enable it now you have to follow the next step what we can do now okay so we already enable it now click on the uh, just refresh it first of all refresh this page and once you refresh it again under the external client app you can see the external client app manager just click on this one this is the second option and here you can see new option to create the new external client app this one okay so this is the second option here okay so you have to follow it so just click on this new client app here you can see the option like basic information you have to fill out this all auth enable something like that right so let's see how we can manage these things right so now you have to enter this basic information about this external client app okay so external client app it can be anything for in my case i'm using like postman so we will use this external client app inside the postman and how we can fetch the data using sql inside the postman with this credentials okay so now here you can give any email id as you have let's say valid email id so for now i'm giving my email id okay so let's say this one and distribution state should be like local for now and leave it as it is all the field now click on this this one that is a api enable auth settings just enable it under here we have to enter the callback url under this one in the auth setting right you have to give the you know callback url it can be anything but in my case i'm using like https localhost right so we can give like local host all right colon 8080 this is the default port right and after that we have to give this forward slash all right so this is the callback url under here we have to give this you know auth scope and scope should be like manage user data via api because i'm using the api so i can select manage manage user data via api so this one so we have to select it like that and after that come down scroll down and now this time we have to enable this enable client credential flow because this is a flow type okay so here you can see this one right so you have to select this one because we already discussed about the external client app supported different types of framework so you can see these all framework here like a five framework here i'm using the first one you can see the client flow okay and come down and leave it as it is as we have by default right just click on the same here right like create so just click on this create now our you know external client app successfully created right so this is the way to create it here now we have to do one thing here under policies we have like uh, uh, different types of policies so we can add it here so just click on this add it and now auth policies we have to provide like admin approved user are pre-authorized so here we have to select this one and now we have this permission set we have we can give this permission set to the apis so we already created this rohit permission set okay and after that come down come down and now here you can see like auth flow and external client type enhancement okay so once you click down here you can run the user or based on this external client app based on the username we can run the particular user here so i'm just logged in my all right this is the current logged in user so i can give my username here this one right after that come down now everything leave it as it is here so you can see this all right relax or make it like ip relaxation as a relax ip restrictions okay and click on the save so now our external client app postman have been saved right and uh, come down once you've done it now we have no other setting and we have to enable it right so now under the setting just click on the setting you can see here like one more options click on this one like consumer key and consumer secret so now you can get your consumer key and consumer secret from here as well right 
so just click on this one this option and it's redirect your particular uh, you know url and it's asking some verification code yeah so once we authorize you can see the consumer gain consumer secret for the external client app right so this is how you can get your client id client consumer key and consumer secret right okay so this is another one so if you have like some package you can also manage the package using this package default option but in my case i'm not using this one so we already configured this external client app now we have to use it okay so how we can use that so very simple and very useful just click on this uh, client manager app and click on this postman right and come down click on this setting one and here we can edit it right and we can enable it right like that we have to do one thing just click on the save okay and again we have to do one thing just click on this edit again and enable this click on the save so we can enable disable the you know uh, this auth settings so based on our requirement we can use that okay so once you've done it now you will be see uh, these things inside the postman so how we can use that very simple and very useful just open the postman here is the postman right and just you have to do one thing create the new collection so as of as of now i have this collection so i can create new one for you guys so let me close this okay and uh, here the postman you can see the new blank collection let's say it's a blank collection and we can give let's say salesforce did something like that okay and once you've done it now you can see authorization under the authorization we have to select uh, different options so we already have this one so let me select this one and authorization auth 2.0 so you can select from here as well like auth 2.0 this one once you select it now you can see each and everything right so same thing we can use inside this collection as well right so how we can use that so first of all we have to configure it so just click on this authorization and now come down so we have to use grant type as client credential okay so now under here a grant type we have to select like client credential okay and now after that you can see the access url so we can give the access url okay so access url let's say this one let me copy it my existing or and we can change later on so now let me copy the you know url base url so you can search from here as well okay and just here or we can make it a duplicate and that's here we can search like a domain so once you search like a my domain under the domain we have current logged in url so here you can see this one okay so we can select this this is the current uh, domain url so we have to give here so sales for data uh, after this one right we can remove from here to here and we can use our one like this okay so once you give this client id so we have to give now client id so client id here you can see in my old collection like 3m something like that so same thing we can copy from this one like this one. so just copy this one okay and paste it here with client id client secret same thing we can go here client secret we can copy it we can paste it here right and after that we have this one send authorization something like that leave it as it is this is by default all right and these all things like that so now you can save this collection now and once you save it now try to click on this get new access token so just click on this one now you can see author authentication complete successfully and proceed so just click on, on this process and use this token so just use this token here right and once you 
clicked on this use this token now click on this three dots and at the three dots you can see like uh, add request so just click on this add request and at the add request let's say soql something like that okay and base url we can use the base url so for example purpose uh, in my this collection that is salesforce data salesforce data we have the base url so I'll just copy this base url here just copy this base url click on this one paste it here right after that you have to give one thing or just do one thing we have already this one so just we can change the base url with our base url right like this okay and uh, this is the base url that is dot com and slash services slash data slash version of the api query and your sql query something like that okay just click on the save click on the send button once you clicked on the send button immediately you can see the data in the body of this uh, postman so now you can see we can easily find out and we can easily interact with the salesforce api using this client credential flow okay so this is how you can you know send the request to the sales and fetch the data based on the you know external client credentials or external client app and that is this app is very most important for us right and this app is an enhancement of the connected app please keep in your mind okay so guys if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments and subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye